everyone welcome to my corner of the world and welcome to september's online class to go which is this really cute little folder which would make a wonderful gift hostess gift or co-worker gift and it contains three note cards with envelopes Now, to start, um, I am using the Stampin' Up uh, note cards. So these are in basic white and they'll just literally fold in half like this. And then I have a piece of crushed curry cardstock. Now, this has been embossed using the exposed brick embossing folder which gives it a really lovely sort of a bit of a vintagey type fi uh, um, finish and i'm simply going to mm -hmm, run out of <laughs> adhesive here So you would make three of these, but I'm only going to make one at this time. So there's my starting point like that. And then I have um, a piece of the decorative paper, which is called Inked Botanicals. And this has lots, it comes as six by six. And it has lots of lovely designs, as you can see. Botanical, as the name says. But there's also some nice sort of plaid type ones as well. And the colours it uses is Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, which is the colour I'm using here, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink and Pool Party. So we're focusing on one of those. And I'm simply going to use my adhesive again to attach this piece. And just to remind myself, I'm going to pop it just to one side of centre like that. Now I have already pre-cut some uh, pieces of cardstock. Uh, this is called the the uh, the ta a tan made tag punch, and I've pre-cut this to save a little time. And I'm using a coordinating stamp set for that punch called Handmade Hugs. And I'm using some of the pretty little decorative pieces that are in that stamp set. So I'm also using the same colour ink as my cardstock. And this is called uh, Tone on Tone Stamping. So I've got, where's my stamp? Oh, here it is. So there's this stamp, which uh, gives me this very pretty finish here. And it's exactly lined up so that I can just simply stamp and catch both ends. Right, so there's that. And the next thing I'm going to do is take a small oval of white card and I'm going to stamp my greeting. Now, this greeting comes from the Go To Greeting stamp set and it's just perfect. It says, just a note. So there we have just a note and 
I'm using my adhesive. I like to use liquid, but if uh, you have a preference for another liquid, it will work just as well. And I'm just going to put it across like this. And then I'm going to attach it to my card with some stamping dimensionals. Now, this project is part of or is one of my online classes that I offer to my customers who place orders um, in my online Stampin' Up! store. Uh, if, uh, if you see this video and would like some supplies, you can just contact me and I'll be happy to help you with those. So there's my first card and I'm just going to add a little more decoration. Again, this is from the stamp set that I mentioned, Handmade Hugs. And it's just a, a nice little sprig. And I'm just gonna pop it like that. And I'm going to do the same on the envelope. So the envelopes and the note cards come together as a pack and you get 20 in a pack. And they're a really good deal. So there's my decorative piece on my, my um, envelope. And I've used this lovely natural ribbon. Now this is called... Uh, la, 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 la. let's see oh wavy trim and it's it's made of sort of hairy string and it really is a very pretty um uh piece uh, of ribbon so i have a piece here and i'm just going to tie a simple knot like this And I'm going to close this up just in case I get my elbow in it. Right, where did my card go? There we go. And I'm going to use a glue dot to attach it to my card. Now, if you received one of these kits in September, then um, I will have pre-cut and pre-embossed some of the items for you. And I would also have provided you with a whole yard of this lovely ribbon for you to use in your project. Now, if you don't have the stamp sets that I've used in this particular project, I'm sure you may have something in your stash, or as I say, you can always place an online order and you'll be able to qualify for that month's free class. So I'm using the rustic metallic adhesive dots for my decoration. And these, these come in, in two sizes. I'm gonna use the smaller ones because I think they just look a little bit more dainty and I'm going to just pop one down there. Not too crazy with those, just the one. So you would make each of the three cards exactly the same way. So there's our lovely card. So let's go ahead and talk about the folder. So the folder has a couple of pockets. Just pop those to one side. So we've got a couple of pockets on this and then a lovely piece, a nice long piece of that lovely trim to hold it all together. And um, the decoration is very similar on the front as to the cards, just to sort of keep it in the same thing. So this is what we're going to do for our little folder. 
Now, I have a piece of cardstock here. It's nine and a quarter by eight. And I have scored this at three eighths, four and a quarter, five and eight and seven eighths there. And then here I've scored it at, let me see, five eighths and six inches. Right. So I'm going to start by putting in my folds. Now you don't have to remember all the dimensions. The class kit will have been pre scored um, but there'll also be the recipe to accompany this video which will give you the written information on the supplies with all the measurements and the score lines all right so i'm popping in all my score lines mainly because i find it easier to see them when i come to do some trimming so there we have our score lines in place and then you'll want to get yourself some nice sharpish scissors that is, is your preference to use and i've put mine somewhere and do you think i can find them no never mind we can always go for another pair okay so the first thing i'm going to do is I'm going to take these two score lines and I'm going to trim them up to this second score line here. So we're just going to do that. Like that. And the other side as well. Now, we're not going to do, I'm just going to trim a tiny bit off because I haven't quite hit the line there. Now, we don't have, um, you're probably used to when you're making boxes, um, putting a little wedge cut in on, 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 the, on your corners. We're not going to do that here um, because we want our, our corners here to be nice and square. And then... I'm just going to cut off this piece. So from there to that first score line, I'm just going to cut that piece off. So that scrap, I don't need that. And I've just been left with this little tab that I'm going to fold up there. And that just helps to reinforce that bottom of the folder. So we'll do that momentarily. And then I've got these two little pieces here, these little tabs like this. And I'm just going to cut up to that 3 8 score line. And this one, we are going to put the little um, wedges. If you can see, we've got those little wedges there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same on this side as well. Right. And the reason we put those wedges in is it, it helps uh, to reduce the bulk so that when we um, assemble the box, we haven't got big bulky bits of card that we're trying to... Um, Fit into a small space. There we go. Just want to got a little bit of roughness there. There. All right. So this is what your piece should look like when you've trimmed. So you've you've lost this piece, and you're going to fold that piece up, and then you've taken the little side tabs there and there and put little corners um, uh, little uh, wedges off of the corners so we're going to go with some tear and tape 
and the first thing I'm going to do is to put a piece here just to hold that um, hold that tab in place a little burnish and then that piece goes up there like that that makes a nice neat edge here and also gives it a bit of extra strength now I'm going to use my trio punch here and I'm going to do my corners. I just think it would be nice. If you don't have one of these, you can always use a, um, uh, a corner punch or use a circle punch to just nip the edges out. So that gives me, as you can see, a really nice finish. And then on the front, I'll do that again. I need to do something. I think I'll do it on the top. Yes, right. So now we can we can put the box together. But before we do so, we need to mark another trim line. So if you look at my start one, you'll see that this piece of card which forms the side of the side of the box i've actually trimmed away and so i know how far to trim i'm gonna put my box like this together making sure all my edges are sort of square and i'm going to make a little mark like that there okay and then on the second side i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to put my little tab in Make sure everything's sort of lined up and square here and then just put a little mark. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this strip on both sides of my card. There's the scissors I was looking for. They were covered by something. So I'm going to go in at my mark. And then I'm going to just cut along that 3 8 score line. Like that. So that's one side. And then with the other side... Again, I'm going to trim that up to the three eighths side, um, a score line, and then just take this like that. Just need to take a tiny bit extra off there. And if you trim, if to if you like the side of the score line, so that this the score line actually is trimmed off of the of the the, the piece there. And now that we've got the these tabs, um, these side pieces, we can go ahead and do these corners as well just to make them pretty and then i have another piece of decorative paper here this measures five and a quarter by three and a half i believe but that information will be on the recipe And that's going to go on the front of my card. So I want to do a little bit of decoration, uh, decorating on this one as well. And that can go there. 
So again, you're just going to use whatever your preference is for adhesive. And we're going to stick that down while it's all nice and flat. So you're not juggling with um, a 3D. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some tape. This is the double sided tape and we're going to add it to these tabs here. So these are the tabs that you just created when you trim the sides of the card. And I'll show you them again in a moment so that you can see where I am. All right. So they're, they're going on the inside because that's the front. So they're going to go on the inside of these longer tabs. And then we're also going to put tiny little pieces on those teeny weeny tabs that we have here. And they're going to go, if you like, on that, what would be the outside. And I'll turn it over in a moment and then you can see what I mean. So when you look at it from the front of the box, these tiny little tabs have got adhesive at that point. Now we can start putting them together. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to take the backing off of the little tab and I'm going to swing this around so that the tab goes inside of this one here. And then this is going to go over the front. So this is going to go like that. And I can see I have a little bit of, of, of pencil showing. So I'm just going to take my eraser and get rid of that. And I'll check the other side as well. Yeah, I've just got a tiny little bit of, of pencil showing. And we're going to do the same over the other side. So that's going to be, we're going to take the backing off of this tiny tab. And we're going to swing this and we're going to pop it down so it is behind the tab that's for the pocket. And then again, we're going to take the backing off of this one and line everything up like this. and complete the second pocket. There, just use my bone folder to get all of that in place. So there's our pretty little folder and the cards. I find that if you put two cards and an envelope in one side, and one card and one envelope in the other. Oh, that's not, I meant to say two cards and one envelope and two cards and two, um, one card there. And if you position them so that they go like this, so that whoever the lucky recipient is can see straight away. And then we're just gonna finish off the decoration now, there, I'm going to use this pre-cut, I'm going to use this shape again, that's using this handmade tags punch. And I'm going to use the same decoration as I did before. So I've got this stamp.
like that. Ooh. And another oval. So we're going to put just a note on both the oval as other folder as well as the cards. Okay, now I did a little over stamp there. If you see that just here, don't like that. So I'm going to do it again. Now in the kits I prepared, I did put a spare label in case you have a, a, a problem with your stamping. But remember there's two sides to every piece of card so you can have a couple of goes just like I did. And then we're just going to center that up like that. Okay. And then we're ready to finish off. So we've got this lovely ribbon and as I say in the kit there's a, a yard and which should be more than enough for your cards as well as your um, as well as your box so what we're going to do we're going to bring this round and we're going to tie in place now you don't want to tie it too tightly, otherwise um, it'll make the box all scrunch up. And I'm just going to pop it sort of around the middle and then I'm going to do make a bow. And my, my always use the, the um, bunny ear method i need to put that over there <laughs> ah, i'm not doing a good job here okay let's start again cindy there we go so i'm going to do one bunny ear and then a second bunny ear and then i'm just going to Pop it round through the, the gap and then give it a good pull to make it nice and tight, the bow in there. Even up the loops a little bit. And trim. There's my ribbon scissors here. And then to hold it in all in place, I'm going to get my my um, piece that I just stamped, and I'm going to put a dimensional at the top and the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the sides because otherwise it'll sit on top of the. The ribbon and it'll look bulky so by popping it like this it will hold the piece of ribbon in place as you can see it holds it really well in place here um, I've also put a glue dot in underneath this the spine so it doesn't show so we can just pop that in and then slide that over and press it firmly. And then I'm going to put another glue dot just under in the middle back. And our final flourish is these lovely rustic metallic dots so i'm going to put one here and one here and the dots are also in your kit so you have those to finish off your project.
project. So there is September's card class online. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy making yours. And as I say, once again, if you'd like to receive your card class, a free card class in the mail, then check out my blog every month and place your order for a minimum of $35 before shipping and tax. And I'll send you a kit at the end of that month. Thank you for joining me today. Bye bye for now.